what's up y'all welcome back to my channel on behalf of Britt. if you're new here welcome i'm Brittany. today i'm in the house chilling it's a real like lazy day i did have two appointments but they were quick and easy my friend came and got her sewing taken out then i did some feed-in braids and now i'm about to put some clothes away i went to the store a couple times this week just looking for pieces my mom came in town and she had brought me some real cute jeans y'all i gotta show them to y'all I'm just scared to put them on because they're a small and I've went up a size since last spring. I've gained some pounds. So I know for sure I'm no longer a small, but hopefully they have good stretch. I went out looking for a top to go with those jeans she gave me. Maybe y'all can give me ideas on how to style the jeans. They're so cute. Then I went in Marshalls and got a couple pieces. So I want to show y'all that stuff. First, I'm going to stuff my face because I got a plate of hot food right here. I'm going to stuff my face. I'm currently watching bridgerton again on netflix then after i eat we're gonna do a quick little haul it's only maybe like five or six pieces that i want to try on for y'all there's a few exciting things going on this week i just wanted to kick off the vlog now while everything is chill so let's get into the vlog i'm having a large cinnabon these are the ones in a can that you just stick in the oven eggs sausage links and a tangerine I'm running back season two. I've already seen it, but the first time I watched it, I was watching it while braiding and me and my clients be talking. So I'm running it back a second time so I can really focus on what's going on. I've been watching it at home and at work when I get downtime. And yeah, season two is really good. So these are the pieces from Charlie, y'all. Charlie thinks she a fashionista, honey. She be on these boutique sites and always finds me the cutest things. Um, I really think she'd be on there shopping for herself, but if they be sold out in her size, she'll get me something like, if I can't have it, at least you can. But the, um, the person, the site is so, so Chanel. If I can remember, I'll link it down below. But yeah, I love these jeans, y'all. I was out trying to find like a pink, like a pastel pink bodysuit or like a graphic tee, maybe like a white or black graphic tee that has this pink in it. Um, Cause I feel like a graphic tee would be cute with these. I don't know. I was gonna dress it down, but then part of me wants to dress it up like a one shoulder pink bodysuit. So yeah, these are the pants. Nervous because they are a small, but hopefully it's a stretchy small. And then she got me this two piece matching set. It's so cute. It has this little knockoff Chanel brooch emblem on the top. It's a crop top, and then the shorts. This just has an indention because I guess the way it was folded in the packaging, it left a dent on this side, but it can be ironed out. I really like this set to lounge around in, run errands in. I love it. Real cute. I can't wait to try it on. So those are my two pieces from my mom. They both came from the same boutique. Again, I'll link the ladies boutique down below. Then these are a couple of the pieces, just three pieces I got out of Marshalls. I started my spring shopping. Normally, I don't have to shop every single year, but the way I've been putting on weight, um, this year I had to get me some stuff. So I'm going to be getting a few pairs of shorts in the next few vlogs. Y'all will see me going out shopping for shorts and stuff because I can no longer fit my stuff. But these particular shorts come from the Kendall and Kylie collection that Marshalls has right now. This is a nine, size 9.29. So we're going to see how this works out. It was $16.99. Um, so I'm going to see what Kendall and Kylie talking about. Y'all see the girls. Don't play with them. A real iconic sister duo. So I cannot wait to put these on. And then to go with it, I brought this Whitney Houston graphic tee. I already have two Whitney Houston graphic tees from Marshalls, but they're cut off at the sleeves. So I was excited to find full-blown t-shirts out of there. This came out of the men's department. It was another one in the women's department that I seen, and I was stuck between this one and the other one. I recorded them in the store so I could show y'all just in case y'all like the other one better. I might consider getting that one too. But um, this one, her hair's just pushed back like she coming out the pool or off the beach and just kind of rakes her hands through her hair, so... She looked bald, but she's not. Her hair just pushed back. And it's cute. Y'all know why I wanted it. It's purple. But, yeah, the other one, the only reason I didn't get that one is because in spring, I don't like to wear a whole lot of black. I like to wear a lot of color. And then the picture of Whitney Houston in that other t-shirt is already on my other graphic t-shirt I have of her with the sleeves cut off. So, I was going to pair this top either tie it in or not or tuck it real cute with these shorts and maybe some hard tennis shoes 
And then the last thing I got from Marshalls was this cute little top right here. You can scrunch it up. I'll show y'all when I put it on. Cute little dainty top. At first, I was thinking it can go with these jeans, but and it matches like the pinks match. But I'm thinking that I want to dress this down with like a t-shirt or like a simple plain pink bodysuit. This I would do with maybe just some solid denim or I got like some flare leg denim. I'll show y'all like some bell bottoms. I would wear this with definitely some bell bottoms. So these are the three pieces from Marshalls. They have a lot of cute summer things. So check them out. Everything was under $20 a piece. And yeah, we're going to try this stuff on. So these are the jeans right here. And they surprisingly fit me really good. Really good. I feel like a medium would have been too big. Look at the, oh, oh, oh. Y'all ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing. And this is how they look from the back. They don't give me a whole bunch of shape. Like, it don't do much for my figure from the back. But I think it's because of the way that they're cut right here. Um, It doesn't cut my butt because the jeans are open in the front. But it's worth it because the front is a look. Love these jeans. Easily climb they way up to one of my top favorite pairs of jeans and i own at least 30 pairs so that says a lot about how i feel about these jeans for them to be top three yeah this is the second look from so so chanel and it makes sense now why she has these little chanel emblems on some of her stuff because i guess she's trying to match her name i love it personally you don't mind me if you see ash on my knees or thighs i've been in the house all day Leave me alone. But yeah, the shirt fits perfectly. The shorts fit perfectly. The exact way I would want loungewear to fit. You know, love the fact that it has pockets. I would definitely leave the house in this as well. Um, real cute outfit. This is my first look from Marshalls. I took the tee in on the side and let it hang. The shorts fit me good, y'all. It's still, it's a good amount of stretch in them. It's a little baggy in the crotch. You may not be able to see because the shorts are black. But this nine size I've been wearing for the past few years. I don't know why in my head I just thought that I've gotten bigger. Because those jeans that size small fit me good. These shorts fit me good. Like maybe it was all in my head. I guess I want to be a little thicker. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm definitely able to fit these clothes. I'm happy actually that I don't have to go back to the store. But yeah. Maybe just the clothes that I have just from washing them and stuff. But a lot of my jeans and rumpers and stuff, I can't get in anymore. Yeah, so this is the top, the last item of my little mini haul. At least for this portion of the vlog, this is the last item. Um, and I paired it with some jeans. You can't really see the jeans. I guess they don't really matter because I've been had those. I just wanted to show y'all how the new top fits. I thought that this scrunched up so you can make it tight. And like kind of draw in like that but this is actually sewn together so it doesn't move which is okay because it looks cute i just thought that if i wanted to adjust it i could i paired it with these jeans but actually now that i have them on i don't like them as much so i'm going to show y'all another pair of jeans that i think would go cute with this look i feel like every girl should have lots and lots of options when it comes to denim depending on the occasion or the weather like you can get away with different things. These came from Shein. But yeah, this is pair one. I'm going to put on pair two. And this is the second pair. Y'all let me know what y'all think if they're too busy. I just think they complement the pink and the ruffles more. All of this ruffle and ruching and then the extraness at the bottom, the flare. I think that it's cute. But y'all let me know if I'm being extra because I can tend to do that at times. I just got done filming a video. I, filmed, I tried filming this video the other day and I didn't like the quality of it so I redid it and hopefully it's a little bit better. I did an Amazon must haves braider edition so if you're watching this vlog that video has already dropped and if you haven't seen it already please watch it when you get time. I pretty much gave a rundown of all the things off of Amazon that I've purchased for my business that I feel like can be useful to someone else who braids as well. So that was that literally just fresh off the camera doing that. And now I'm about to run to the store because I want to make salmon sliders today, but I don't have any of the things. I need slider buns. I need the actual salmon, the toppings to go on the burgers. So I want to go to the grocery store and I believe that's it. Just the bank and the grocery store. But as I was walking out of the house to leave after filming the video, I realized I had a package from Amazon. So I'm like, let me open this up real quick because I know when I get back from the store, I'm going to cook, lay down and chill. Like I've been 
productive enough today. Y'all should have seen how quick I made a U-turn when I seen this package was here. I've been waiting for these shirts to get here. It took two days to come, um, but I wanted them to come today while I had free time because if these shirts don't work or they don't look like they can fit, I'll have time to run to Target or somewhere and get them two backup outfit case. But the shirt just says, don't make me call my auntie. And that's exactly what it means. Like, do not make them call me. My shirt is still on the way. It hasn't come yet, but I know my size, like the back of my hand. So I know when it gets here, I'll just be able to wash it and throw it on. Um, because I've brought t-shirts from Amazon many, many times. Y'all, the rest of the stuff in this package is very random, so don't judge me. I'm going to show y'all just because I really wanted to show y'all the t-shirts. But while I'm here, while I done came back in the house, I'll show y'all everything. Just don't judge me. It's a lot of random stuff in here. The next thing that I got in this package are these cage liners. <laughs> None of this stuff makes sense together in a package. I don't know why they put all of this stuff in this bag together, but it's super absorbent cage liners, and you already see it has birds on them. It's this little um, textured little cloth stuff. You get maybe 25 sheets to put at the bottom of a bird cage. I don't know if you guys are like up to date or like caught up on my vlogs. But a couple vlogs back, I did a weekend vlog where I said I'm getting a new pet. I went to this super huge flea market. They had really affordable parakeets. And um, I mentioned in that vlog that I was getting a bird. I don't know if y'all took me serious or not, but I will be bringing a bird home soon. I'm just getting stuff bit by bit. So the day I go pick up the bird, he or she has everything they need when they come home. So this is the one thing that I got for my bird this week is the poop liners. Um... I seen a video on YouTube. I've been watching a bunch of parakeet vlogs of uh, people giving you tips on how to care for a bird. I do not know if I mentioned it to y'all in this vlog or not, but the bird that I will be getting this month is my second bird in life. I had one years and years ago. My mom brought us one when we were little and I killed it. So I'm just trying to make sure this time around my bird lives the full 20 years that they say a parakeet is supposed to live. They say their lifespan is 20 years, so trying to do it the right way this time um the reason why i don't have the bird yet is because the flea market is only open on saturdays and sundays and saturdays and sundays happen to be the busiest days of the week for me when it comes to my braid business i want a full day to make that happen so whenever i get a free saturday i'll go get the bird but in the meantime we're collecting things the next thing i got was a pack of this hair tinsel and it came with hair beads i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram but if not they're always linked down below or mentioned down below for you guys to go follow but i just recently added a new service to my list of braid services called confetti braids where i braid in hair tinsel into the braids making it sparkly and shiny i'll show y'all an example on the screen just in case you're not following me but i ordered a big case of it in bulk my friend justice came she was my very first client to test out the style it ended up being a hit i posted it and several people booked the style justice brought me this pack of hair let me let me show y'all i meant tinsel when justice came to her appointment she brought me this whole pack right here that was full of different tinsels so you have the holographic silver the holographic gold purple blue it had all of the things but she specifically just wanted the rainbow strip that came in the pack like this so to do her hair we ran through all of the rainbow well when i posted the pictures of her hair and i did the real everybody wanted the rainbow it just so happened that the rainbow package was not a prime item so it's not going to be here to the end of the week but in the meantime i've seen that the single packs of rainbow if you get it by itself it'll come as a prime item so that's what this is this was also in the package with the cage liners and the t-shirts y'all and the last item of this package is a pack of scrunchies, y'all. Don't call me crazy if you know me personally or you keep up with my braid of vlogs. And you already know I am a scrunchie junkie. I love scrunchies. I'm just a girly girl, y'all. I, I love lashes. I love lip gloss. I love purses, hair ties, scrunchies, whatever. So this is on my recommended page on Amazon. I got on there. I was minding my business. I went on there to get the tinsel and the things that I needed. My nephew's shirts. And this just happened to pop up. Like, it called me. It sent for me okay <laughs> but it's a pack of scrunchies i do not know how many scrunchies are in this package it'll be linked down below but they're like these furry scrunchies that are trending now and i wanted to have them 
I do not like the fact that they're vacuum sealed. Why would you pack this down like this? But I, I know from experience with vacuum seal items that you can just put it in the blow dryer, not the blow dryer, the dryer, and it'll like puff out. Why is this shedding so bad? Like literally, I just took it out the pack and it's hair all over my bed. From but this is neon yellow. You just you know pop them on and they add a little razzle dazzle, y'all. Yes, I'm childish. This is pink. I'm trying to like fluff them out a little bit because they were vacuum sealed. But yeah, they're like fuzzy scrunchies. So you got cream, you got nude, um, you got like a blush pink. This one is like a powder pink. You see the difference? This one is blush, black, gray, royal blue, lilac purple, powder blue, hot pink, red, teal, gray, brown, and more white. A whole pack of scrunchies, y'all, that I probably ain't going to wear out the house. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I had to have them. Don't talk about me. Scrunchy junkie, honey. Oh, I'm going to mess up my top knot trying to play with y'all. See what y'all got me doing? And I got to go outside and get groceries and stuff. Okay. But yeah, y'all, that is my mini Amazon haul for right now. I'm in Kroger, y'all, trying to get some slider buns and salmon because I'm making some salmon sliders tonight. But Pepper's Farm and stuff, they game up. I'm sitting here stuck, y'all, for five minutes because I don't know which buns to get for the sliders they got. A soft white, which are plain, sweet Hawaiian rose, and like a buttery slider bun. I don't understand why people give me opportunities to make decisions because I suck at it. I went with the sweet Hawaiian, y'all. I think it'll add a layer of sweetness to the other savory stuff I have going on. salmon sliders this is a quick little mini haul of everything i got got some juices chips honey buns and star crunch these are for my nephews today is wednesday by the way april 13th my nephews will be here for the weekend friday through easter sunday friday i'm taking them to the circus i just want to make sure they have snacks and stuff i'm getting them after school so i'm gonna pack them up for lunch and then some cutie tangerines I told y'all, I showed y'all the slider buns, which I smushed up in the car. The salmon, sliced tomatoes are going to go on a sandwich, and lettuce. This is the sauce we're going to use. It's Chipotle Ranch. Never tried it before, but salmon goes good. Salmon sliders goes good with Chipotle sauce, and that's the only sauce I've seen in the um, dressing aisle. And then I just discovered this naked drink on my friend Kay's channel. Y'all check out K-Love TV, honey. Um, Y'all know I currently stand the Pina Colada flavor and also Green Machine by Naked are my favorites, but I'm going to try the Key Lime. This is how our display ended up turning out for Easter this year. I never added anything else to it, so this is what we're going with. At this point, Easter is a few days away, so it is what it is. I put together an artificial flower arrangement from Dollar Tree, and the rest of this stuff came from Pop Show. Y'all, I'm so glad I got a box of chips when I was in that store. I didn't realize we was down to one bag of chips. So glad I decided to grab the box. I grabbed them because they were on sale. But check me out. Today is Thursday and it is 10 p.m. y'all. I have been asleep for the past five hours. I got up this morning and did hair. I've been doing hair all day, but I did not vlog any of that because I wanted all of this vlog to be no hair, just a fun vlog. 
So I did that. Both of my clients needed me needed me to come to them. So I went to their house. And while I was out and about, I went to the hair store to get some hair because I'm about to snatch this quick weave out literally right after I get done talking to y'all. I'm going to take this out and do my hair. It's going to be a late night vibe going on. Um, that's just the only way this head is going to get done unless I pull it all night or tonight. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show y'all what I got from the hair store for my hair. While I was out, I also went in It Fashion. I hadn't seen one of these in a while, but my second client lived in a black area, so I ran in there just to see what they have. They didn't have a whole lot of stuff in my size, which is probably a good thing, so I ended up with just one shirt. So I'll show y'all that, show y'all the hair store stuff, and then I got an Amazon package. My shirt for the circus tomorrow ended up coming today, so I'm going to open that. I already know it fits, but I'll just show it to y'all. It's completely unrelated to my nephew's shirts. Well, their shirt says... Don't make me call my auntie. My shirt says auntie, but it's from two different, to two totally different vendors, and my shirt is yellow. So I'm going to show it to y'all, show y'all this stuff, and then I'm going to go do my hair, y'all. I may do a whole separate video on this particular style that I'm about to do, so if I do, then you'll be able to see a start to finish on how my hair turns out. Whether or not I do that or not, y'all will see my hair in this vlog tomorrow when I take my nephews to the circus. We'll close the vlog out with that full fun day tomorrow. So let me just show y'all this stuff so I can get to work on my hair while I'm in the mood. I just got a 10 pack of socks out of there really just because I didn't want to go check out for just one shirt when I seen this crop top that I fell in love with. I was like, I don't know, I felt stupid going up there just to buy one shirt. So I got a 10 pack of socks. I don't even know if y'all could see that, but 10 pairs for... $5.99 and they were all different colors. I like like the pastel colors. They were perfect for spring. And then I got this crop top. This is the one I really wanted. I believe it was $3.99. It was originally $13.99. Then they marked it down to $6.99 and I ended up getting it for $4 at $3.99. And it's just this little red crop top with two keyholes. You probably can't see it because of the way it's drawn up. But I feel like this will go cute with some denim jeans and a cute little red or gold sandal. Just something cute for warmer weather. I told y'all earlier in this vlog, I'm trying to build my spring wardrobe back up. Because I've grown out of some things in my closet. Um, this is the Amazon package I'm opening now. The shirt came in this little baggie. Again, mine is yellow. It's like a tie-dye mustard yellow. Ooh, this material is awesome. Normally, when you order t-shirts from there, it's like a, like that Jordan, that sports tee, that Walmart tee. I don't know if you know what I mean, but the shirt is super big. It's an adult small, but it seems really big, so I'm definitely going to end up just tying it in a knot tomorrow with some jeans. But it just says auntie with a little heart. Why is it so big? Is it a t-shirt dress? This shirt is huge. I don't know. Hmm. But it's cute still. It's what I wanted. I just didn't expect it to be so big. And then from the hair store, y'all, I got hair. This is a protective style. At first, I was debating on doing large knotless, super long, like, to my thighs. Then I told myself no because it's going to take me about six hours to do that. Um, only because large knotless, my parts are more exposed. So I'd be wanting to make sure that they're perfect. When you do knotless, you can't play around with those neat parts they got to be neat when you're doing big braids so i was like i don't have the patience to do that on my own here tonight i'm gonna just do some more locks i'm addicted to locks y'all nine times out of ten if i'm gonna do a protective style on myself it's gonna be locks i love the way they look on me they last so i got some 30 inch hippie locks out of the store with me deciding that i wanted locks the same day that i'm doing my hair i wasn't able to order from the vendor i normally get my locks from on Amazon, but this is the same concept. I'm just gonna crochet them in individually and then wrap Marley hair around them to give them that natural look. Like I said, they're 30 inches and they are a blonde ombre. The ends are curled, so it is a little different than what I normally get because the traditional soft locks that I normally wear are straight all the way down. They're like crinkled up, like how these kind of are wavy, but you don't get no extra oomph at the bottom. So. I said, let me pop out with these. I got three packs of them because they're double packs. So, all in all, I have six bundles. And hopefully that's enough. If not, then I'll just have the majority of my hair done, finesse it some way, and go back to the hair store and get some more. But I believe I can achieve the look with six bundles. We'll see. 
Huh, these were $12.99 a pack, and yeah, they just said it was a two for one thing. I normally, when I do the soft locks from Amazon, I use five bundles, so I should be able to complete it in six. It's just that those bundles look really small, so I don't know. But I also got the Marley hair to wrap around them to make them look natural. Tonight, I'm using the Jamaican Twist Braid by Equal, and I got the color two just because the top part is mixed in with blonde and black i didn't want a jet black to wrap it with but i also didn't want to wrap it with blonde i wanted to uh give that ombre still also out of the hair store y'all i got a bunch of these little oil things i show y'all these a lot these are what i use in my bathroom i have an oil lamp and pretty much you just put the burning oil in there and it sets your bathroom and lights it up with whatever fragrance you put on so i got butt naked lick me all over a lot of the smells are provocative this one says butt naked. Uh oh. This one says lick me all over. They just smell awesome. Eat it raw. And then I got strawberry melon. I'm trying grapeseed oil tonight as well to moisturize my scalp. After I'm done putting the locks in, I'm going to oil my scalp real good with this whole entire container. And then last but not least, from the hair store, I got this little tree spray. It was $4. Um, and it's pretty much like a fragrance mist, like an air freshener fragrance mist for your car. I'm old school, y'all. I don't know what y'all use to make your car smell good or like for air freshener in your car. But I still use these little hanging little tree things. And so they're in my car right now. I think I have Jasmine in my car right now. I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all. I'll go out to my car tomorrow and show y'all what I have. But I have the Jasmine ones hanging and I also have... A Yankee candle in like vanilla cake or something like that. I love the way vanilla smells in a car for some reason. So I got that one. But those little trees, they don't last no more. They probably last maybe like a week and then the smell goes away. So I just have them hanging there. So when I seen they have a spray now, I don't know if I'm just behind. I said, oh, this is going to hit. So no more trees. I'm just going to be spraying my car with this freshener. So I got the vanilla Roma. And they had three different ones in the hair store. But, of course, I said I prefer vanilla for my car. So, this is what I'll be using. I only got one. I want to see how it lasts, how it works. And then if I love it, I know now I can just go into my local beauty supply store and get whatever um, scents I want. So, one more thing, y'all. I'm about to run off this camera. I look a fool. Then I got dressing all on my shirt. I had a salad earlier from Chick-fil-A before I laid down. I ate half of it and some dressing got on me. So, I just, I look a mess. I need to go shower and take my hair out. But I forgot to show y'all that um, It's Fashion had a... I thought I knew I had got something else. But anyway, It's Fashion had a little chapstick stand. I haven't seen chapstick in so long. So I got a couple of these. I'm a lip gloss girl. Um, but these took me back to my childhood. So I got cake batter. I got peaches and cream. And I got cotton candy. So, I'm going to put these in my little purse, y'all. And there shouldn't be any reason why my lips are ever chilled. I'm about to make a quick snack. These super soft pretzels, y'all. So bomb. You put them in the oven for five minutes. I'm going to show y'all how I sauce them up. Too good. Day. I'm about to head out to pick up the boys from school. I just wanted to show y'all how my hair turned out. I have a couple locks in the middle that still need to be wrapped. Um, so yeah, but they turned out really cute. I love my hair. This is my top. It does fit really big, so I just gathered the material right here and tucked it uh, and tied it in a knot. I want to tuck the knot, but the shirt is thin, so you can kind of see the ball right there. I don't know how I feel. I don't know, but this is the shirt. And then, as far as my jeans, I just have this half and half light wash, dark wash denim. I showed y'all this in one of my Christmas vlogs because I remember buying these from the mall when I was doing my Christmas shopping. But yeah, earrings in the car, shoes at the door. I'm just wearing some black and white Vans. And I'm about to head out. I have their snacks and their like lunch. When they get out of school, they be looking for a snack. So I got all of that packed up, their t-shirts, 
depending on how traffic is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to bring them back to my apartment to change before the circus. I'm picking them up at 4. The circus is at 7. Not to say I'm going to be in traffic for 3 hours, but I want to get to the doors by 6. Make sure that they eat, all of that stuff by 6 um, because it's general admission, meaning that as soon as you go through the doors, you can sit anywhere. It's no assigned seat, and I want to get us good seats. So I want to be there like an hour early. If I can get there at 5.30, I'll get there. Then we can hang around around the circus area and just make sure we get good seats. But, yeah, this is the outfit, y'all. I got to go get them from school. <laughs> My little crumb snatchers. Y'all ready to do this, boys? Yes. Say, let's do this. Let's do this. Yes. <laughs> Something to eat? Yeah. 
Y'all yeah. want Happy Meals? Yeah. Yeah. So trifling. The circus only had like popcorn and nachos. They didn't even have like corn dogs or hot dogs. Um, like food, food, just snacks. So they got they've been eating candy. junk all day. Yeah, they had cotton candy. <laughs> um, so they need a meal. It's ten o'clock at night, and they've been snacking since they got out of school. So here go McDonald's right here, y'all. Let me get them each a Happy Meal. And we'll happy see y'all at the house. Yeah, I'm about to get y'all a Happy Meal. Is that okay? Sure. <laughs> you want the burger one? And Noah, you want nuggets? Okay. Ooh. Welcome to McDonald's. Nuggets are so yummy. Thank she you. She said she wants to know if you can get her an Instagram page started with Coco. <laughs> Not Coco need an Instagram page. Yeah, this is food. Uh, and she's so pretty. Uh, she deserved one. She's so pretty. Yeah, and you said, um, so one of her coworkers said something like that. The dog got it. And, um, yes, um, please. Maybe, Hold on. Let me get let me get these boys yeah, food, y'all. Hold on. Okay. What? You got toys in the stool? Yeah, I got your stuff, oh, Noe. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Oh, <laughs> did you say I'll shut up? Huh? What did you say? No, no. Oh, you heard me? Yeah. <laughs> your mama, your mama was cutting up. She cutting up. Yeah, with that foolishness. That's why I said that. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me pull over and get y'all right. Hold on. You smell the food. Now you want to act. Hold on. Let me let me pull over I'm real quick. Come I'm about 15 minutes from the house, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and give it to him now. Oh, they hungry. How long y'all been out there? Uh, since we got there at six o'clock to get there early to get a seat, and then the show was over at ten. They didn't open the doors until seven. Yeah, but it ain't like they ain't had nothing. They had um snacks and stuff from the concession stand. Okay, no, this sure is with the nuggets. But yeah, so y'all made a drink or y'all been taking shots? Michael, this yours with the burger. Yay. I'm going to hold on to y'all sodas now. So we made it home. I done bathed them and everything. They done ate their Happy Meals. We got thing one up. It's one o'clock in the morning, y'all, by the way. He up watching Coco maybe. And this one in here, building all kind of stuff with Legos. What you got going on, Mike? I'm building. Look at my bed, y'all. But he's super talented. He made a whole little town. I have to tan this room up. Let's see what they doing. Look at my room, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Y'all wake up and get straight to it, huh? Yeah. You ready for breakfast? Yeah. Auntie was too worn out after last night. I was not about to get up and cook this morning. They get up about 8 or 9 o'clock. So we went right back to McDonald's. Breakfast is pancakes and sausage. I got to cut it up. No, we okay? the playground. I'm going to the playground. Okay, we'll go to the playground later. Auntie has a client. Once I finish her hair, we'll go, okay? Okay. All right. Hey, y'all. It is now April 17th. It is Easter Sunday, and I'm not feeling my best, so excuse me being in the bed, but y'all know by now I'm that YouTuber. I will vlog in my bed. I don't care if that's how I'm feeling. But yeah, my nephews ended up getting picked up yesterday, so our weekend was cut short. But that's cool because they ended up getting to spend Easter the right way by going to church service this morning and having fun. I wasn't able to give that to them. My cycle ended up coming early. All hell broke loose yesterday, and it is still occurring now. I can't even keep water down. So I'm so bummed because Trell is cooking a real good Sunday dinner, seafood, and... <laughs> I can't have any of it. I can't eat anything. Y'all know how I feel about Easter. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite holiday. And it's kind of sucky right now, but I'm trying to stay positive because this is the day out of all days that I should be grateful and just 
loving life and appreciating life and appreciating, you know, what God has done for us. But so I'm not going to be too negative on camera, but I did want to let y'all know the fun things ended yesterday. We, we won't be doing any Easter egg hunt or anything major today. I'm just going to watch church on my phone. What's that? Um, I missed service this morning, but I'm sure I'll be able to access it on my church's website after the fact. They normally play it live, but I missed it. But in a nutshell, that concludes this week's vlog. The circuits was fun. I got some spring clothing shopping started. Got my hair started. I need to finish it. Um, the center and like freshen up the front because I've been laying all over it without a scarf. But did get some cool things accomplished in this vlog. It'll be it'll be more coming to y'all this week though for sure. I love y'all. See y'all whenever this is uploaded. Tuesday at the latest. Yeah, I love you much. I hope you guys had a beautiful Resurrection Sunday. And yeah, see you soon.